So here we go to the picnic tables, I suppose. Well, I had a little hitch right there for some reason. That was strange. Okay. Where's it that I'm going anyways? It's not that far. It's only 130 meters away, so that's good. And I got my two companions, so I should be pretty well off. This guy's a friendly, of course. We've been to this picnic area, I think. I'm pretty sure we have. Oh, wait, there's a... R -R oh, this is the... Oh, my God, dude. Really? So this is where the key card was the whole time? At least now we know where it was. So we should be able to actually go into the picnic area, finally. Or into, not the picnic area, into the RR and DD section. Because we tried to come in here before, but it was locked. So now it should be good to go. Let me see. Yep, unlock with RR and DD. That's kind of funny. Normally it's R and D. But this is, for some reason, to the second power. Halcyon Helen dead. We're gonna find out who killed her. I promise. I can hear you out there. Um. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. Dr. Blossom? Messages. Department utility subject cleanup request. Uh, hello. I'm so Well, this is to Department Utility Subject Cleanup Request. Okay, I already read that, of course. So, anyways. Hello, I'm sorry. I haven't had the chance to get your name yet and update the terminal. When you have a moment, uh, could you bring a mop to the lobby, Dr. Blossom? Uh, for some reason, every when I, when I read that name or the or what I just heard or whatever from her talking, it just... Blossom kind of reminds me of, uh... Powerpuff Girls for some reason. Dr. Blossom seems to have uh, had a rather rough night and spilled some dot 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 coffee on the floor. Thank you. Blossom subject, what in the architecture blue blaze is going on? Uh, what in the blessed corporate law is all that commotion down there? I don't believe the rocket fuel com uh, combination distillery mixture was scheduled for another week. Could someone please inform me as soon or uh, as to what the rocket is all about? You better have a damn good reason for interrupting my meeting and uh, with the administrator. I expect a full explanation and apology uh, and apology within the next 15 minutes or people are going to start losing jobs. Well, okay then. She does not seem happy. There's a bolster pistol, or bolter pistol right here on the bottom. It's a bolter 3.0. That's interesting. This character really isn't a pistol user, though. What do we have here? Mag pick and a bat bypass, uh, whatever. Doesn't look like we have much over here besides a lot of junk. Yeah, there's nothing interesting here, but there's like a, like an enemy somewhere around here that I'm kind of nervous Yet for. Yet researcher killed in the line of duty. Who knew research and development was such a dangerous profession? It's a good point there, Vicar. Very good point indeed. I don't need any of this. Oh, there she is. Hello. How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. Uh, I'm actually investigating Halcyon Helen's murder. Was she here recently by any chance? You do know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character portrayed by the late actress. Ruth Bellamy, yes? Yes, I know that already. One can't be too short with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. -day. I'm a simpleton. Regardless, I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Orange. Of course, if you were to say, contract your services to me, I suppose I could grant you clearance enough to 
answer your murder-related questions, Mr. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Okay. I didn't see any hostiles. I, just one dead guy, by the way, but no hostiles. Uh, you can always just make a run for it. And lose my life's work? You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? No, I think not. We merely need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. Clean up the mess? These are people's lives you're speaking of. Staff can be replaced, you know. Research data? Now that's invaluable. That's a dark way to put it. They really don't care about people. Like, at all. Uh... So... What goes on in these labs that uh, would turn your researchers against you? Oh no. They're quite unaware of their actions, I'm afraid. We're a research and development branch of Rizzo's, focused primarily on the Spectrum Vodka line. But the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential. You understand? Uh, kind of, I guess. But, you know, you can keep... I can keep a secret, you know that, right? Call me a skeptic. But no, I don't believe it would be. Loose lips sink new product ships, you know? Whatever, then. Happily, of course. I mean, I could always take care of your problem, but I need, uh, I need you to answer some questions afterwards at bare minimum. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup... I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Still ain't a fan of the way she talks about her workers. Me too. I say, we prove her wrong and find a way to save these people. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Felix, I'm all for your plan and all, but I might be too stupid to, uh... Save these people, as you say. Utility terminal. I still want to know, is he upstairs or downstairs? That enemy. Oh, there's a lot of enemies, actually. Okay. We might have a hard time here. Hey, this door is open now. What is that elevator to? An empty bin? Uh, mind the gas canisters. Hello everyone, this is your friendly custodial staff offering a preemptive uh, pre apology in the elevator hall. Uh, if the elevator hall is crowded with gas canisters, there are quite a few of them and only one of me. So I'm moving them in loads down to the utility room. Don't be cautious, they're filled with a sedative- uh, Oh, that, that might be what we could use to save these people. Uh, potent enough uh, to put a hungry mama wrapped it on out cold. Kind of like what, I don't know, did I do it on the channel? I don't know, I might have done that off camera, but in a previous mission in the main game, uh, without any DLCs, obviously there's this mission where you can, uh, use gas canisters as sedatives to put down some wrapped it ons. Uh, but yeah, anyways, they're filled with sedative potent enough to put, okay, out cold. Thank you for understanding. After work, bar meetup. Dear esteemed colleagues, my team and I are all headed to the Ground Colonial Bars, uh, Colonial's Bar this evening for some drinking and fellowship. All real scientists are welcome to join us. What is all real scientists are welcome to Okay, whatever, anyways. Uh, you know, the ones that produce qual uh, quantifiable data and theorems and don't spend their time jabbering over how this lighting uh, on the bottle will increase customer sed uh, sentiment. Cheers from some who understand that market researchers aren't real scientists. That's 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 rude. Increase productive measures. Team, as we continue our new round of research in product development, I am increasing the required safety gear for lab work 
workers involved. As some of you know, a few recent ac uh, accidents involving subject have left workers maimed, scarred, and one worker had their left hand permanently discolored uh, to a shape of lime green. Rizzo's Research and Development District uh, Labs is expected to continuously produce revolutionary advancements in the work in, in the food and beverage industry. These measures will help us in further pursuits of that mission. Dr. Blossom. You know, these people I don't know why they're so cold hearted. But uh money is not that important. Like, to the extent that they would like, you know what I mean? Maybe I should... Switch weapons? Just in case? Okay, so there's the thing over there. I kinda wanna look around too, but I'm pretty sure there's enemies here? Yeah, I see them. They're literally crazy. Yeah, there's bad guys over there too. I wonder... I wonder if we could do the whole Felix thing. And save these people. I just don't know where to go for that. Is this guy sleeping? Or is he dead? I think he might be dead. Also, I'm willing to bet that the way to save him is in that locked room we just passed. Hmm. So in that previous mission that I spoke of before, we had to actually find canisters that look like this. The only notifiable difference that I could think of is that the these yellow pieces right here were red in that game. Oh, actually... This might be where I put it. The gas canisters. I don't know where I'm supposed to put... Or to find those gas canisters though. Also, my sneak is not very high. So there's a very high probability chance... That, uh... I'm not going to be able to pull this off silently. I wonder. I wonder where they're at. There's got to be a way, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is gonna be tough. I need him to turn around, though. Okay, they're going. Who knows, maybe I could do this. Oh wait, is there someone in here? Uh oh. Okay, this is definitely gonna be tough. Ah! Don't attack me, slugs! <gasps> that was scary. Oh shit! I just want to look in here. Just in case I find one of the canisters, but I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. Okay. Let's quietly go to a different area, maybe. Maybe we could find it without having to kill any of these guys. I do want to save them. I may be a moron, but... If I could save some lives, I definitely, definitely, definitely will. To be honest though, I don't know where I would look. Yeah, yeah I made it through. Give me this stuff. So those are the coolant tanks, but those are junk. So 
So that's Drino. I guess I'll take it. Let me see if I can upgrade my weapon a little bit more. Uh, it's level 28. And I don't have enough. I guess I could always just repair it. Let's repair everything. Might as well. Okay, let's go back into sneak mode though. Because I don't want these crazed people to attack me. If they do, it's fine. I'm still gonna try to do this properly. They've reproduced all the comforts of home. Only difference being the Byzantium elites aren't the only parasites here. Good, good to note. I, oh shit, there's somebody right there. I, I don't know where these canisters are, man. I don't even know what they look like. I'm only going off of what it looked like in that previous mission. Yeah, I don't- I- I don't know. I'm willing to bet they're basically trapped behind or at least nearby to some of these crazed guys. Oh god. Oh god! Ooh, that was close. Let's try to hurry past before he sees us. Oh, he's... He doesn't see us. I'll take that. Did I hear something? Oh, 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 oh. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's up, boss. Ah. Well, that's... That sucks. That really sucks. I might, in fact, have to kill everyone here. Only because I legit don't know where any of this stuff is. I'm willing to bet it's behind these locked doors. But, oh well, if I have to do that, then that's that's just what's going to have to happen. These crazed guys... I kind of feel bad for killing them because they're just basically... Dr. Blossom's key card. I legit want to know what's in there. But I'm willing to bet I have to kill her. Hmm. Okay. I have to go down there. I'm just going to kill everyone. I hate that I have to do this, but... It is what it is. I'm just going to run around and if they see me, I'll just kill them accordingly. Because I don't know where these canisters are, to be honest. And nothing is showing up to be interactable. Whatever it is I'm looking for, I think is in this room. Whoa, that's a lot of Rizzo's. It, it is. I kind of want some. I legit want to try it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh god. Sorry, buddy. Okay, well, they're dead. Also, I'm, like, really messed up here. Tactical shotgun three. No, thank you. Appreciate it, though. Appreciate the offer. Sorry, Felix. I know you really wanted to save these guys. Oh, it's in here. What does this do? Uh, dispense sedative gas? Really? That's all I needed to do? I legit could have probably done this. I just skipped through all of that dialogue or the uh the stuff. Oh well. Dude, these are literally mini nukes. They literally look like Fallout mini nukes. That's funny. Okay. At least some of them are... Not all of them are dead. So that's a good thing, right? Let's 
try to take a look around though real quick. Is this guy alive? Nah, this dude's dead. It's by the smell or by the uh, sound of it, he might have been dead for a while. Excuse me, coming through. I think there's nothing else to do here. Yeah, we. this is where we came from, right? So I guess we take the elevator now? I think so. But let's just check upstairs in this area first. Oh wait, we can't. So there's gotta be another way upstairs. Now this is the... Okay. It's back in this direction. Are these guys dead? So then we killed everyone, right? I think we did. If that's the case... Um... Oops. Just the... Oh my law. It's you. Wait. What do you think you are? <gasps> what was that? Boss, we gotta move. What just happened, bro? What? No way! Dr. Blossom was a horrible person, but she was gonna cooperate with you. Somebody wanted to keep her quiet. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. What? They killed Dr. Blossom. Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. But recently, they were still alive. <laughs> You don't say. Uh, examine the body. So this lab worker has no pulse. Also has a bunch of needless litter on the ground around the body. How odd. After much thought, you're unable to deduce any further details. So let's search the immediate area instead. Uh, whoever Dr. Blossom confronted uh, over the intercom, they dispatched her and four of... Uh, all four of the other uh, scientists without much resistance. This means they must be well trained. Some kind of sharpshooter or adventurer. What you oh crap. So let me see. So what do I think happened, Felix? Uh, pretty sure they're dead. Whoever did this was evil. Like some kind of a villain in a serial adventure. Hmm. I suppose it's only fitting, with the queen of the serials being the victim. What if that's a plot twist? What if... No, it, it can't be because I was going to suggest that maybe it's, uh, you know, uh, Halcyon Helen. But it can't be her because we found, we, we seen the body. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Good to know, good to know. Oh, there's a computer. Discrepancy Hold on. Nearby. Where? Oh, same. The same thing. Matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already. Good to know. Thank you. So let me see. View download con uh, downloaded confirmation uh, file. Error fire de uh, file detected uh, was successfully downloaded to external data charge uh, cartridge. So someone took some files from here apparently. Some messages. Administrator Ludovico, subject Halcyon Helen's lab tour. Apologies for the late notice, but Miss Bellamy has requested a tour of uh, the facilities while she's visiting Eridanos as Halcyon Helen. Please prepare uh, for her arrival in the morning. El Blossom subject note to self. Well, Leora, did, uh, you did it again. At long last, you located a bottle of Spectrum Black uh, hidden in the crevice of mushy shelf space in the storage warehouse last night. That much closer to uh, finally getting the Spectrum Gatlin. Spectrum Gatlin? Is that a weapon? Uh, to work. And uh, what happened? You got all the way back to the water tower before running into a group of primals already uh, diverting themselves 
with fruits of the fermented variety. One bad blackout later and there you are, covered in primal vomit, without much, uh, without the spectrum black, uh, get it together. Employees, uh, labs employees subject, what is, uh, what in the architect's blue blazes is going on? What in the blessed corporate law is all that commotion down there? Didn't we read this already? Pretty sure we already read this. Uh, files. File error detected. Okay, that's good to know. this killer down, boss. They're not going to stop until we do. Yeah, you don't say. They killed Dr. Blossom. Pro uh, potentially only because she was going to, you know, assist us. I kind of want to see what's over here. I think we're supposed to go the other way, but uh, there's nothing down here besides some of this stuff. Splash resistant. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up, but I'm pretty sure it's not unique. Yeah, it's not. I still like this though. I kind of want to wear it, to be honest. Rizzo's Rangers Tossers uniform, or who knows? Maybe I'll give it to Felix. What is a what is a what does it do? Dodge ten, movement penalty fifth, uh, accuracy minus fifteen, weapons AOE radius twenty percent. Yeah, it's not that good, I suppose. At least for my current build. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here mere moments earlier in the timeline. Uh, examine the fuse box. There's a cut wire in the box. Someone wanted the power. Uh, cut to something, but you're not quite sure what. Examine the grate. Wow, somebody left the vent open. Seems dangerous. Very nice. I can't go up there, can I? Rude. So then now we go this way. Oh, Administrator Ludovico. So we're gonna go over there and speak to him, I suppose? Sounds like a plan. I still can't believe they killed her. Can I just fast travel over there? That's what I want to do. Fast travel to the penthouse. I think in the penthouse I can use that computer like we talked to him before. Yep, okay, there we go. Perfect. Uh, confront the intruder? I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. The loss of so many wasquitoes will set back production at the orchards for weeks, if not months. I'm disappointed in you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, boo-hoo, it was me or them. Of course, you're right. I'll set aside my disappointment for later consideration. Good. Something about this incident troubles me. <laughs> the circumstances are... Suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? Uh, reach for a cigarette. Plot thickens, administrator. <laughs> you have my attention. <laughs> Let me see. Dr. Blossom's dead. Murdered by an unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist. And a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. Uh... Well, when I found her, she was already in trouble. The other workers had turned, you know, violent. Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin. Good. I guess. Let's not leap to conclusions. I don't know who's behind her death. Well, yes, yeah, this is true. All I know is she recognized the killer. Interesting. The Similar to Halcyon Helen. A small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Hmm. 
Helen insisted on touring Rizzo's RR and DD lab. Actually, this is probably more important. Someone stole data from one of your terminals in the research and development. Uh, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. Uh, whatever was in that data had to be important, right? But uh, what does this one, this other one say? This happened just before the Waspedo attack. Someone was trying to stop me. Yes. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. I agree. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? I still think this guy's shady. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the way he's talking. Or maybe because we know how these, you know, businesses run. These companies run. These corporations in, in the game. So maybe uh, that's why I'm getting the impression that he's a bad guy. Or that he's shady, but who knows? You never know. Uh, well, she, uh, Helen insisted on touring the Rizzo's RR and DD lab. Insisted? That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. Then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. What were you going to show her during the tour? A uh, little of consequence. We'd tour the grounds, pause at some locations appropriate for a portrait, let her shake hands with our scientists, public relations. She spent a little bit of time in the orchards. I found evidence she was uh, at a picnic. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? I'll let you know if I hear, if I learn anything else. This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. So it says we have to speak to Dr. Goodnight, man who something. All right, well, I'll be back. Why is everyone just standing right there in the corner? I don't know. But let me see uh, the Prince of Tossball. Someone broke into your penthouse. They're ravaging through your things. Are you going to let them get away with it? This is the one. Speak to Dr. Good. Let's, let's check this one out, though. And then the profit of the profit of profitability. Hey, I've been ready to confront that guy. I was just going to wait until he really embarrassed himself. Who the hell is this guy? Hey, you! This is evidence, bruh! Oh, sweet shimmering law! Where'd you come from? Sorry, what? Uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, 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 it's not what it looks like. Uh, who are you and what exactly do you want? I'm the mascot for the Rizzo's Rangers. Three-time, non-consecutive, all-Halcyon champions. And what I want is to wish you a good day and be on my way. I seem to have wandered into the wrong premises. I have mistaken this penthouse for the Rizzo's Rangers locker room on account of my headgear cutting off my peripheral vision. That seems like BS to me. Like hardcore BS. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Just relax and tell me what you're up to. Fair enough. You seem pretty decent. Also, you're guarding the only way out. I am acting <laughs> on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie, the Holemeister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message, something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. I wonder if that's the message. I wonder if that's the message that we saw earlier That's that he was basically... I think he was like apologizing or something. Like, I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm sorry this happened to you or something. Uh, let me see. Did you find anything? 
clothes, mostly. Couple tops, couple pants, couple pairs of socks. Didn't find a letter, and I'm trying real hard to stay positive about that. Will you meet me later, over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. I still... I still don't want you here. If this is a part of the investigation, then you shouldn't be ravaging through all the stuff. But okay, I'll meet you at the pilot house. I figured you'd understand. Big penthouse like this, and you never know who's dropping eaves. Meet me over by the pilot house. It's the land complex with the big old engine that keeps us flying. I'll tell you everything I know, I swear. This is strange. It really is strange. And I can't believe there was no option for us to not... To not let him do all this stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, want his, I want his helmet though, to be honest. Look at him go. See you later, buddy. Okay. What floor would you like to visit? Outside. I'll just keep these guys. Honestly, the vicar... The vicar seems to be very useful here, I think. So how far is this? Oh, we're going to a brand new... area. I mean, to be fair, pretty much everything's a new area. We just explored this part and that part. Alright, cool. Awesome. I definitely want to go check this place out. What? Why are they crazed? So close to here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, come back here. He did. They did not stand a chance, and I feel terrible. I feel terrible, man. I really, really do. Friendo? Cat got your tongue. Oh god, oh god, okay, let's just let's just go. Let's <laughs> They're so crazy though, and it's pretty funny. I don't know why I think it's funny. Slug. Long time no see. So I think we've only explored the beginning part of this area. Wait, we haven't been down there either. Wait, have I been here? I want to say yes. But at the same time, I don't know. I could use a new pair of glasses. Can't imagine where you misplaced your old pair. Okay. I wonder what these guys are doing. Is this a vendor? Hey, you. Come take a look. Yes, please. Hey, you look like you need some stuff. Fancy watch, spare cufflink, single earring. You want None of the above. Uh, you doing okay? Me? Oh sure, terrific, never better. And as soon as I pay off my docking fines, I'll be back on my feet and in my ship. Docking fines? So it turns out Slug has some pretty strict rules on vehicle docking, and I may have broken a few of them. Who would think Slug would be so strict? So, what are docking rules? Let's see. There's docking without prior authorization, double docking, docking into adjacent vessels, docking while under the influence <laughs> of alcohol, docking while under the influence of caffeinoids, and loitering. That's a lot of docking. Wow. And that reminds me that I've got delinquency fees accruing on top of the original docking fines. Which is why I'm hoping you'll purchase my fine wares. Wh uh, why exactly are you selling? Junk. My friend, this is not junk. These are people's prized possessions. Priceless personal effects. Beloved souvenirs and knickknacks. So the knickknack paddy whack? Uh, how did you come by them? I bet you she stole them. Huh? Oh, well... Some of the guests left this stuff behind. Yeah, so you mean you stole them? 
I would certainly not admit to that, even if it were true. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> she stole them. She definitely stole them. Let me see if she's got anything useful. She's got something useful. This is really expensive, but I want it. Let's check it out. I want to see what it looks like on me. Ooh, it's a legendary version of... Nice. What does this do anyways? Uh, reinforced armor rating plus two. Cushion souls. So the walking speed plus ten. It's level 34. This does a lot more in defense though. And then sneak plus ten. Personality attributes plus one. I mean, for the armor rating, this is so much better. He looks like a... He looks like a crazy guy. I'm just gonna keep this on. Ah! Dude, that scared the hell out of me, bro. Where did he go? Oh, hello. Everyone all right? He legit scared. Scared me like crazy. Why is this thing back here? If I talk to her, would that say anything? I knew you. Nothing. Let's go. I still want to know why that thing was back there to begin with. I say this pocket watch. I feel like I've been here, but at the same time, I don't. I don't know. It's so weird. So let's just continue on. I know for a fact I haven't been over here though, so should definitely be interesting to find out what is over here. Hello? Hello? Anyone alive out here? I don't think so. Alrighty then. There's a bunch of things around here. Even if he is, or people. Point of interest, discovered vending machine. I was at breakfast first. If what does it say? He's dressed the same as me. Take in some of the Look, best views of Eridanos. Please Thank mind please. the edge, don't fall over. Rizzo's will no longer be held accountable for missing persons or their personal belongings. Keep your belongings with you if you'll uh, with you if you decide to go missing. Wow. So navigation deck. I don't want to go in there yet because our objective is literally over here. Excuse me. Oh! Timeline discrepancy. He's dead. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. He died. What happened? Discrepancy detected. Oh Rizzo's no. Company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, you don't say. I really wish uh I can literally uh, have a dumb dialogue right here. Amplifier. Can you determine who uh, what killed him? Medical analysis complete. This mascot was likely killed by small arms fire at close range. The firearm is unique and does not exist in this unit's database. Huh. Small, uh, smallest caliber ammunition I've seen. These are small wounds. Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are 1. Incident involving a game of darts. 2. The Needler. What is the Needler? Yes, Inspector. The Needler. The spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen. Famously deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. Okay, before we go, do you think he missed his outfit? This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. I'll take his things. Potential evidence. You know how that goes. 
So, armored, armored toss ball uniform. Let's see here. Ooh, this is a legendary too. Ranger's mascot noggin. Block plus 10, inspiration plus 10. Oh, this isn't special though. This one is. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's it's done. It, we're done deal. What does this do again? Uh, none of that I need for myself. But still, regardless. What does this say? Melt meeting spot. Pick up vending. Okay, I accidentally picked it up. Timeline disturbance detected nearby. Where? What is this? This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. Strength and dumb. Try to smash the uh the bottle against your head. <laughs> you smack the bottle against the side of your head. It makes a hollow sound. Despite your strength, the bottle doesn't crack. The structural integrity of this bottle far exceeds the quality of Rizzo's standard glassware. It has likely been made to facilitate use as a bludgeoning instrument. Unlabeled bottles designed to withstand acts of violence likely originate from the Piraeus spaceport, owned and operated by Slug. Slug? Okay, that's a... Uh... That is very interesting, actually. Wonder what they use this thing for. I don't know, but we're definitely gonna look around. What does that say? Phyton? I can't. I don't know. And I'm too low of a hacking to be able to hack that, so that's a no go. Let's go ahead and get our weapon. I wonder what this is supposed to do. I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing here. Kind of, it kind of definitely leaves me curious as to what was the point. I feel bad for this guy, and he got hit in the neck with one of those happy slug parasite things. You know, and the more that I think about it, the more I feel bad for accusing that one girl for killing. Uh, crap! I can't even remember his name. That one dude that was missing. We found him in the room. It was definitely a parasite that made the dude aggressive. All right, so what's the what's the mission? A journal. Find a uh, birdie the spaceport at the spaceport. Dude, we're going to find Birdie. Are we finally going to talk to Birdie? All right, let's check out the map. Okay, so it's back towards the beginning. It's not very far. But we should, we should just fast travel to the landing port and then just make our way. I think it'll be so much faster to just go through the loading screen this way. Because if we were to run, it'll take significantly longer, in my opinion. Alright, so you've let's been see. Enjoying your stay. I have, ma'am. Thank you very much. Intercom. This guy is our prime suspect as of now. Maybe he could convince us otherwise. Oh god. What's up, bruh? Dude, there's so many of them, dude. What is going on here? There we go. What's up, bro? Hurry up and take a nap. Improved hunter kit. Too bad this isn't my ranged character. All right, let's see what this is. Why is this closed anyways? Contact Cedric. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and... Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport. Thank you. Spaceport. This should definitely be interesting to say the least. It didn't take very long to get this door open. Okay. This area is pretty fascinating, to be honest. This map, I guess? It's pretty fascinating. Travel to uh, 
Pariah's spaceport. Good to know. That we can fast travel here. I'm stuck. We should probably get a weapon at the ready. Yes, let's go in there. I want to know what this is. Hello? Hey, up ahead. Hey, you. We've been looking for you. And by we, I mean slug. Uh huh. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? I have. See, slug light underground. Don't like that much. Congratulations. That's slug light. You think he means slug or sublight? You think he knows? Should have kept <laughs> the nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! I'm an inspector, fella. Sticking my nose where it doesn't belong is actually a part of my job, but I don't think you're smart enough to know this. Even me, one of the dumbest people in Halcyon, can tell you that. Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. Really? Come on, pal. Pal, don't do anything you will. Uh, you won't live to regret. Regret? Regret? I regret nothing. You're going down. And I have the hammer of justice. What's up, bro? Are these guys dead? Nope, they're not dead. Got him. Where's that one guy? You. Mysterious assailant. These guys' names are interesting, to say the least. Ha uh, Hephaestus gear? That is... Hit note. Got a job uh, for anyone re uh, with a ready... Ha uh, gun, hand, and empty pockets. There's an inspector looking uh, into the murder of Halcyon headed my Helen. My client wants you to uh, cross them off. Don't worry about sub... Uh, Sublity? Sure, why not? In fact, don't be subtle. Uh, just make sure that once you agree to the job, you visit the uh, re remost by a bunk, put on the uniforms you'll find folded beneath the mattress after that feel free to cause a ruckus be sure to let them know slug territory is off limits the reward 40,000 bits plus all the enchant uh enchanting uh chemicals you want the marketeer huh that definitely got interesting does Sublight Underground run this place? Looks a lot cleaner than the Groundbreaker. You. You got an appointment? I don't. Appointment? Uh, I need to speak with Cedric. Yeah, that's why you're here. Appointment? Uh, can I make an appointment for right now? <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. Uh, I don't have the patience for this. I'm just going to go upstairs. Uh, yeah. If Mr. Kincannon doesn't want to see you, I'm not telling the guards to pull any punches. Hmm. I'm kind of curious. Okay, well, let's just go talk to Birdie first. I kind of want to look around slightly. I don't like the look of that shopkeep. Why? Joseph Dempsey? Hello. Welcome to Aridano's Dry Goods and Sundry, the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. I'm Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. The Marketeer, you say? Ever referred to yourself as just as Marketeer? Oh, I see you've read some of my poems. Very clever, Inspector. Yes, my pen name is The Marketeer, though I also use it in certain business dealings. Wait a moment. Why do you ask? Okay, this just got interesting like crazy.
Let's show him the hit note. Hey now, hey, uh, let's all be reasonable here. I'm just a middleman. None of this was my idea. Occasionally, jobs requiring discretion arrive here from the hotel. Always anonymous and always lucrative. For a sizable cut, I set these jobs up and ask no questions. Somebody sent me a note telling me they wanted you dead. I don't know who and I don't know why. I swear. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, so... You were hired by Anonymous Note. To hire someone else by Anonymous Note? Yeah, of course. It's called a paper trail. Give me a little credit. I'm a professional. I've got to have some standards. So this is ridiculous. I don't care uh, anymore. Just don't do it again, I guess? No, never mind. Nah, dude, after- he just tried to kill me, so here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna pay me, and then I'll walk away. Of course. Here. Terribly 600. Sorry for all this, Inspector. I'll certainly owe you in the future. Good. What do you have Welcome for sale? Back. The Eridano's dry goods and sundry is just as standard and unremarkable as when you left it. Let's see what you have for sale. <laughs> Standard and unremarkable, you said? Maybe you should invest in advertise in an advertising seminar. Hey, folks take a lot of comfort in knowing their neighborhood general store is unchanging. Eternal. Like the land beneath their feet or the air in their lungs. Whoops. Forgot I ain't supposed to poeticize on work time. The drab nature of our store profits is what I meant. Now, can I sell you anything? Sure. Let's see what you have for sale. Nothing remarkable. Actually, nothing remarkable at all. But thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I, I guess, even after you tried to kill me. This way? I think this is where we're supposed to go. O-M-G. Is that who I think it is? Hey, you. I need to speak with you about. O my god, we found him. What do you want? Boss, it's Bertie Holcomb. Black Hole Bertie. The Holemeister? <laughs> the hack attack. <laughs> Shh, not so loud. That's funny. How did you know it was me? Let me see. Uh, do you have any idea how many tossball players... Uh, posters your face is on? That's what the disguise is for. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Incompleto? Seriously, dude? I think you're trying to... I think... You know what? I'm a dumb character. It's a very nice hat. Oh, what's it matter? <laughs> Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. There are many types of intelligence, Mr. Holcomb. For example, your uh, expertise on the field. Your hack attack? He's nothing short of brilliant. I'm pretty sure Max is being, what's the word? Condescending. <laughs> Birdie's plenty sharp. You can see it in the way he plays. Good to know. Uh. Yeah, I don't care how smart he is. What I care about is this man's alibi. Oh, so you're the inspector. Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I I'm do. I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. Absolutely. So, uh, how do I help? I'm starting to think he's not the killer. I don't know why. I haven't, uh, gotten any information from him. 
But for, I don't know. I just don't get that vibe from him. I don't think this guy's a bad guy. Let me see here. Uh, what were you doing the night he uh, she died? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. What in the world is blotto? You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved? Preserved? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was drunk. The guy noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told him Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. <laughs> so he said we should move elsewhere, get some air. Probably a good call. So where'd you go? We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow. There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. Wait, what? What'd you steal a cow for? I don't know. We were drunk. And we made bad choices. She was all alone. Uh, I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up. Because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Could anyone at the pl pilot house back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. Uh... Did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Let me see. Sounds kind of weird. You sure this guard couldn't ID you? Real sure. It was dark as night gets. Plus, I've got small veins. And what? I didn't much feel like trying to explain why I was out there, or why I was drunk, and holding someone else's data pad, and also maybe crying a little. So I booked it. Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. I don't get the I don't get the killer vibe from him. Uh So I know you weren't sprinting for the Sunday zone. Where'd you go? I don't know where I was going, but my legs took me straight to my friends I mean to my fridge orator. <laughs> Who was it? I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. If you don't tell me, you could potentially actually get in trouble. Okay, this is crazy. I could actually use my companions to I'm curious. I tried to be nice. Time to lean on this guy, Vicar. Trouble. An interesting concept. Depends on who's making the rules, doesn't it? One man's hero is another man's villain and all that. Don't make us be the villains here, Bertie. Wait. That's so cool. What? Is he threatening me? Am I being threatened? <laughs> you heard the man. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the breathing exercises I used to calm down. That is so cool that I just got an achievement for good cop, bad cop. That was so cool, man. I swear I love that so much. Uh, I gotta reread this all because I couldn't hear it. So, look, I talked to Oric today. Oric West hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the breathing exercise I used to calm down. Hmm. I, 
I actually kind of believe him. I'll follow up with Auric. That sounds like a good idea. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Auric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Hmm. Do you have the data pad? Oh, yeah, you'll probably want to... Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Helen sure did have the prettiest handwriting. I f if he's not the murderer, I kind of feel bad for him. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about Helen. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Sorry. Here you go, Inspector. Hopefully they make more sense to you. I couldn't make heads or tails of them. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. I'll take a look at them. Wait, there's still a gap in your timeline, Bertie. There's... I kind of... I believe him, but I do want to inquire about this. I want to see what he says about this. I know, I know that. But you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown, and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I want to help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. Man, this is this is a tough one. So in real life, there's no way I would let a suspect uh, be a part of the investigation because he's still technically a suspect. I, I just don't think he's my prime suspect anymore because uh, I haven't gotten any solid evidence for, from him until I follow up with his alibi. If I can get the alibi to go along with what he was saying and the stories match, then he's definitely very low on my suspect list. However, uh, this is Halcyon we're talking about, of course. So it would be pretty nice to have him by my side. Uh, yeah, it's probably better you're not, uh, you don't get involved, man. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial, then. Unless you need me for anything else? Good to know. Uh, you're free to go, man. That's pretty- man, I love that whole conversation, dude. I really, really did. Wait, Auric West? I think I prefer the rest and go. Let's talk to Auric West.